this is going to be the Vertigo CT utility guide, so let's get into it. So we're going to start with A, so you want to smoke off ramp at the beginning of the round, you do it like this. So one way you can do it if you find the running throw one hard is just come in here, aim just to the left, just to the right of this blob here. Just run along, get along the wall here and right click throw and that's one of the ramp smokes. The other way you can do it instead, which is the slightly faster way, let's say you don't want to do it this way. If you imagine you keep running instead of doing that, so you can come straight to here. And just as you hit the edge of the wall here, your crosshair is just in the top right of this box here. So you come in, just get to the wall, top right of the box, and then just run and release for it like that. And that's going to be the other smoke ramp. Okay, so then let's say one of your teammates is smoking ramp, you might want to do the crane mollies. So when you come around here, just jump onto the box here, get aim on the line here and jump throw. You can also do this with the HE. That's going to molly off uh, ramp fast like this. And if there's super pushing fast ramp, so you're swinging double ramp, the other person might want to throw a molly like this, just off the button here. And you can combo this with a nade as well. So that just gives you like a wall of mollies here on the ramp. Okay, then there's two one-way smokes you can use at the top of ramp to defend from. The first one is going to be one here. You kind of just want to throw your smoke into the wall here. And you can play up, round, behind this smoke like so here. And this enables you to just get set some dirty angles like onto ramp here, down here. And this being a one-way smoke like this. <clears throat> so the other smoke you might want to throw is another of the sandbag one way. So you're just going to come in here, aim the second dot here and aim on the line and throw. That's going to smoke on top of the sandbag and you can peek over it like this. And you can see the whole of ramp. So another smoke you might want to throw is this. This is for uh, your yellow player if you want to push down. So you just aim here as so and left click throw. So you're just in line with this bit here and about here and left click throw. That's going to smoke all the way down to the bottom of yellow here and smoke off ramp. Uh, you might want to throw this smoke a few times offline just to get used to it because it's quite a small you have to be very precise to bounce off here but this means that your ramp player can come down here and play on the ramp and you can also see through the little slits here if there's anyone on the ramp then for two ramp supportive flashes and yellow supportive flashes so let's say you've done the ramp smoke and you want to help your team with flashes just make sure you call this your team so if you want to flash off yellow the run yellow's running up you're going to flash right you're just going to aim just about here depending on how high you want it but here's about good that's going to smoke flash yellow and for ramp you just aim here and flash ramp so these flashes land a zone so this first one is going to pop right up here so anyone running up will be blind this one's right in front of ramp so it'll pop it up blind so you can see that's there and that one's there okay so let's say you've lost the ramp and short fight what defensive utility you can throw so the first smoke you can throw is coming here aim just off to the left here and left click throw so that gives you this little like one way gap here on the crane smoke so you can play around here and see them before they see you Another flash you might want to throw to flash your teammate in short is to flash just on top of this bit here and left click throw. So that's going to flash your teammate like perfectly in short here in case you've lost this position, you've still got guys short and you want them to re peek in with the flash. You can also throw this flash. As you can see this flash blinds right up here. So it won't blind you and you can peek with it perfectly. Okay, and then you might want some retake A utility. So the first one, if you're coming from elevator, you might want to smoke off short. Just come into this corner here. You're going to aim just in the middle here. And left click through. And that's going to smoke off short. Then if you're coming from heaven and you've got an extra smoke, you want to do the A ramp retake smoke. You're going to come in this corner here. Where this thing is here, you're going to remember here. And you're going to aim just like in the top left of the box here and jump through. Now the thing to bear in mind with this smoke is it does take an awfully long time, okay? when it's coming down but it's a perfect day ramp smoke to retake the site it doesn't leave any gaps in the side here that the T's might want to play with you can also from the same spot stop the plant you can do this with a nade or a molly so you just want to aim right here in between where the spike here and these two points meet left click throw you can do this with a nade as well and you see these will put out the default plant position let's say the T's are running up you might want to throw both of those PCU2 in combo And that'll force off the plant and give you extra space to retake ramp control. Then the last flash you might want to throw, let's say you've just done that short flash. You want to come into the pillars here, the ones here. You're going to aim above the window here on this bit here and left click throw. Like so. And you can just peek out with these. And they're blind right up above uh, like the roof here. And they'll blind any T's kind of looking toward the site and not you at all. So that should be all the basic Vertigo A utility you might need to know for retaking, defending and taking certain areas of control. Now I'll go on to mid. Okay, so let's move to the mid nades. So first, in between these 
this little bit of wall here is actually like on an angle so you can throw your molotov on here and that'll bounce back a molly off mid to stop any fast rushes so let's say you're playing mid at the start of the round and you don't want to play it as aggressively you can smoke mid like this just in the corner aim just on the box here just below the dark line and jump through and that's going to smoke off the bottom mid like so So you obviously can still run with this, so just aim where the molly is, might be, like so. Molly, and you've got a nice little way to start defending middle. Nice. So let's say you want to play super aggressive at the beginning of the round, you might want to push deep mid. So you should get a teammate to do this for you, but you can still push up maybe with it. You're going to go into this corner here, bottom corner the A here, you're going to jump through. And you're going to grab your molly, and then jump up here and run through your molly like this. So then you can keep running, running, running toward middle. And they might not be able to get out behind this and you've got a nice smoke molly here so the last thing you can do a middle player if you want to be a bit more passive just going to come to the corner here aim as shown here and left click for a nade and that nade's going to do really good early damage at the beginning of the round to any t's like running through far now onto the b side of the map let's say you wanted to smoke off the b stairs at the beginning of the round you just come here aim here as shown and left click throw and that can smoke off the b stairs so you can't peek with this and the t's could still run through it but just a cool way if you know they aren't pushing get a bit early control then if you're stuck on default, let's say they molly somewhere out, you want to molly off to stairs, just be in line with the shadow here, you're going to aim at the top of this bit here and left click throw. And that's going to molly off the top of the stairs here, so their T's are now either forced to run up to peek into you more, or they have to fall back. And then while they're doing this, so you can throw the molly, check they're not peeking, and then you can throw this smoke. So you jump up on the side here, just make sure you crouch behind default, aimed under this bit here, and jump for your smoke. And that's going to re-smoke off the top of the stairs here, like shown. So now they can't peek you from any of these stairs angles. Then if you want to get a bit more aggressive on stairs, let's say you want to clear it and you've got Invo and you're playing their patio, turn around here, aim at this line here and throw your flash. And you can peek. Shown to me by Cass for that one. So let's say you want to throw some nades retaking B this time and you're coming from the window position. Just aim at the pillar here and left click throw your molly. And that's going to molly off the default plant position. That's really combo useful to combo this with a nade as well. Just for so many people uh, end up playing on the default plant off. Then let's say you don't want to molly off the default plant. He's already planted. You're retaking. There's guy white. You can put the sand back here. Just going to aim just underneath the, the metal here and left click throw. And that's going to molly off the back of white bot. Okay, then the god retake utility set if you want to know this. So you come into the corner here. Then you're going to first smoke. You're going to aim on the left of the right side of this throw. Then you're going to get your molly and aim here and jump through. So I'll just show you what these look like. So you get a molly here and a molly for the white box position. Then you're going to aim just under here with your flashes, like so. And left click through these. And these flashes pop behind the metal bit here, so as you're running up your team, they don't really blind you at all. So that's the retake utility you'd basically need to know for B. So that's going to be the end of the utility guide for Vertigo. Standing in the cold, cold